After winning the league and the interprovincial championships in 2015, the Oakville Blue Devils find themselves back in the League One Ontario final for 2017. The Blue Devils set the high water mark for points in a season this year with 56 after going 18 2 and 2. Their opponents in the final this year are certainly no slouches either. Woodbridge are going for the double this year as they won their second League One Ontario Cup in the last three years. They even beat Crosstown rivals Bon Azuri to win the tournament final. Strikers head coach Peter Pinazzotto couldn't ask for much more from his squad this year. Well, you know, i got to be pretty happy about our season when you're finished first in your division and uh, we've been uh, in first for almost the whole season. The 2017 edition of the Woodbridge Strikers features a face that should be familiar to fans of TFC and our national program alike. Quillen Roberts left the TFC system and joined a squad that has allowed the league's fewest goals three years running. Roberts found himself starting in this year's All-Star game and posted a shutout in 45 minutes of work against the PLSQ Selects. The keeper who once scored from open play against England has kept nine clean sheets this season. He's made some saves at the right time for us and uh, he's a quality goalie. Uh, I could see uh, Quillen going forward to maybe uh, play at a different level. Another reason that the strikers give up so few goals is because the other team never touches the ball. We are a very technical team, you know. Uh, so yeah, we definitely you know you need a good midfield in order to keep the possession of the ball. And we keep saying that if you have the ball, it's very difficult for the other team to get any chances to score. So I think we've been pretty lucky that we have a team that uh, could keep uh, the ball away from the other team. So yeah, it's, it's great to see all these uh, talented players playing in one team like ours. Coach Pinazzotto's squad features a wealth of riches in the middle of the pitch. Mike Krasminski was called into the Canadian national team training camp earlier this year. He's joined in the middle by former Canadian U20 player of the year, Dylan Carrero. Joining them is Christian Cavallini, who has scored 12 goals this fall with York University. And then there's Emmanuel Isaac. He scored two goals against the Azuri in the League One Ontario Cup final and earned man of the match honours. He's certainly not scared of big occasions. Trying to keep Woodbridge off the scoreboard will be their former teammate, keeper Matt George. Well, he's got great organisational skills. He talks well from the back, gets the, gets the defence organised and, and that, that's very important for us. Another thing that has been important for Oakville is consistency. It's something they didn't have a whole lot of last year. Injuries and a lack of team chemistry led Oakville to 10 losses last season, a year after winning everything. With Matt's veteran leadership and a reasonably healthy rotation of six backs, Oakville have been able to propel themselves to a new record for regular season success in 2017. To combat Woodbridge's suffocating possession, Oakville are going to have to rely on their power and speed to disrupt the strikers' game plan. Captain Taylor McNamara will be asked to lead the charge, and that won't be anything new for the bleach blonde school teacher. Well, he's been our captain uh, all three years um, since we entered League One, and for five or six years before that with the Toronto Lynx. So um, he's been my captain now, I think, for over 10 years. Last season's team MVP, Cody Ellis, has been dangerous all season long. He scored four goals against Windsor in August, completing the feat in under an hour. Oakville have three players in the league's top 10 goal scorers. Midfielder Anthony Novak has 10, tying him with teammate 2015 Golden Boot winner Electric Phil Valella. But ahead of them both, in sixth place with 16 goals, is Matthew Santos. We've had Matt Santos in our rotation all season and he's been the leading goal scorer at under 21 for the past two seasons and he's come in and been our main goal scorer this year so that's been a, a real plus for us and it's allowed us to play Phil in a slightly different role. Um, Phil's rotated between going in the front line and playing the kind of an attacking midfield role so it's given us some options again that we didn't have last season. Adding to all the drama of the 2017 League One Ontario final is the fact that a berth for the 2018 Amway Canadian Championship awaits the winner. You can purchase tickets by contacting either club or at the gate on game night.